Hello, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll be looking at a simple way to test similarities between strings using the UTL match package. First, we create a table to hold two string columns. We then populate it with data that shows varying degrees of similarity between the two columns. Only row 5 contains an exact match. The first function we're going to use is the edit distance function, which is a Levenstein distance. That is, the number of characters it takes to change the first string into the second string. This includes inserts, updates and deletes of individual characters. The output from this query is self-explanatory. We can see that most of the rows have fairly similar data, with only the fifth row having an exact match requiring no character changes, and the sixth row having many changes in order to switch between the two. The problem with this measure of difference is it's actually not very helpful. If there are two characters different in a two character length string, that's a big difference. If there's two characters different in a thousand character string, then that's not very much difference at all. The edit distance similarity function uses the same algorithm, but this time normalizes the output to a range between 0 and 100%, 100% 100 being an exact match. The output is now much more meaningful. It also allows us to ask questions like, can I have the data where the similarity of the strings is more than 90%? The Jarrow Winkler function uses a different algorithm to test the similarity between the strings. Once again, I don't think the output is particularly useful or meaningful for us. If we switch to the normalized version of the function, then the output becomes much more meaningful again. This also allows us to ask more meaningful questions again, like our 90% similarity question. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.